Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master fitter here at Minnetonka. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm really excited to uh, test these HMB beauties out. Yeah, Mizuno's got their brand new MP20 line available now for pre-order. We got a couple of them to test here, the HMB model. Uh, the player's distance category Mizuno's leaping into here, kind of a thicker club head in comparison to the blades, um, but it should provide that extra distance that uh, a lot of players out there are seeking. Um, so Thomas, let's see, uh, let's see how far you can hit these bad boys. Huh? All right, let's just get after it. I'm really excited to see how they perform. All right, what are you starting with here, Thomas? Start with a pitching wedge, HMB. Okay. Now, what do you, what's your typical carry distance for a pitching wedge? Uh, on your right at 140. Side? 140 is kind of my, my okay. carry distance with pitching wedge. Felt good. Initial impressions looking down at it? I mean, it's a little larger than what I'm used to. I, f I actually felt incredibly good off the face. It's clearly forged, so yeah. I, you know that's the, that's the one thing. I mean, it looks a little larger. It looks a little more like a game of fruit iron to me for pitching wedge, but I was really surprised how good that felt yeah. off the face. That was really so good. So basically, it felt like a player's iron, right? Yeah, it felt you like know, a player's, player's iron. Player's distance category with players. But just too. looked you know, a little bit more forgiving club than would I play for a wedge? Yeah, I think that's exactly what Mizuno was going for there. The same feel, but with that player's distance category. Yeah, it feels really, really soft. Wow, look at the dispersion on those two shots. <laughs> exact same carry distance. Look like two yards further than what I normally hit my wedge. Might have left that one a little out to the right. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> About like two inches out to the right. Yeah, that <laughs> one wasn't one of my better swings, but forgiving I mean, enough to yeah. Not perfect nice and contact, straight. but yep. you, I mean, you carried past that 140 number, so clearly yep. there's some added distance out of these. Out yeah, of those so irons. that was plus or minus a yard and a half with, mm -hmm. the, with those swings with, with the pitching wedge. So that's important with your scoring clubs for sure. Sure, yeah. Definitely. And moving on to seven iron now. Yep. Um, what's the typical carry number that you have for your stock seven? 178 is my carry number with, um, with my normal seven iron. Okay. Yep. Felt good. Just a slight little fade. Pretty straight. Four, yeah, four yeah it's still, you, know, you hit right. a fade, you know, and your normal trajectory is a draw. For those yep. who don't, aren't usually watching our channel, Thomas likes to play a draw, and here's a fade, and it still kind of gave him some extra distance there. That felt solid. That felt a little straighter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been working on my swing a little bit here, trying to straighten it out a little bit, so I'm not surprised that I am hitting a little straighter, but... You know, at the same time, these clubs being a right. little more forgiving, they're still going to fly oh, pretty yeah. straight as well. Yeah, you got that high launch, too, out of these. That's just kind of the sort of I think it flew 130 feet in the air. A little less spin, but, you know, with it carrying and flying pretty far, it's still going to stop on the green. Absolutely. You no, know, it's about six yards of stopping power from That's 189 kind of to 95. That'd be your, differ your difference probably between kind of a blade and a player's distance is you're going to stop the ball with your sort of landing angle on the player's distance iron versus yep. the blade, you might have extra spin that'll stop it on the green. Correct. Ex exactly. Yeah, that last swing felt really good. Once again, feels good off the face. It's not the typical feel I'm used to kind of feeling off a more, well, well it looks more of a game from an iron, but it's clearly forged feel. Uh-oh, that was crushed. <laughs> Seeable. Ooh. Well, that was really good. So yeah. the normal carry distance you're thinking is about 178 for the seven iron you played now. Yep. And that one carried 191. 191. Yep. Not bad. Yeah. 
Clearly the first one I left the face a little bit open on. I'm not gonna actually gonna hit one more just because I think that first one was more of a miss it than sure. anything. That felt good too. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if you were gonna take that one out here that we that you know that was a miss it. Take a look at that little tiny little That's group some in good there dispersion seven there. iron. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little baby draw on all those. That one carried 191 and a half. Yeah. That's just. You're going to take that one out? Uh, yeah, I did not like that shot. <laughs> that was just me hitting a bad swing. Well, it's also you being picky. Yes. But it I'm also makes that circle look a lot better. Without it does it. make that circle look <laughs> a lot better. But I will tell you, that first swing, you know, it, wasn't very, it wasn't very good. So. No, but yeah, seven yeah. iron impressions. Uh, I mean, clearly you gained about anywhere from, you know, 10 to 13 yards a carry on your solid strikes. So what's interesting, pitching wedge, I think this is more kind of like a pro progressive set for sure. Yeah. And, you know, pitching wedge really didn't go any further than what I'm normally hitting mm -hmm. it. So that's, that's good that you're scoring clubs. You don't need to hit that right. pitching wedge crazy far. You want it to go the kind of the same distance every time. But then we start losing, you know, maybe we're trying to pick up a little distance on those longer irons. That's when, you know, the progression with the set, you might see them going a little bit further, mm -hmm. maybe a little more forgiving. Well, let's hit the four iron HMB here. Next. All right, I'll get you over to the four iron here. Once again, just looking down at these, so shiny. I love, I love the look of new, new irons, yeah. new, new blades, irons, yeah. new irons. Especially the Mizuno you know, the, finish the to them with the, the chrome. Mizuno, chrome, yeah. satin, very, yeah, very good looking clubs. Mizuno has that. always delivered in, term, yeah. in terms of looks and feel with their irons and the, the MP20s are no exception for yeah. sure. Makes me want to put head covers on my irons forever. <laughs> <laughs> These look good. All right, let's hit the four iron. I left the face a little open on that one. Ah, stop doing that, Thomas. <laughs> you know how much you love the rightness. <laughs> Yeah. That was better. Oh yeah. Look at that one. 228 carry. Very nice. That felt really good. Now that's your baby draw. Yeah. I could definitely play one of these as kind of like a driving iron for sure. Yeah. Maybe not the four, but I mean like looking at they, it like uh, a three. They do offer, it's a they two through pitching wedge, they offer the HMBs. Yeah, I can't hit that last shot any better, I don't think. But let's try to at least. Yeah, you're going to try. <laughs> yep. 1.49 smash. Let's see if I can beat that. Ooh, 1.48 smash. Yeah. Left the face a little open on that one. Obviously, the club being a little longer, it's going to be much harder to hit straighter because it doesn't have right. as much loft on it. Oh, yeah. Um, let's hit one more here. That right shot is just bothering me today. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, another little baby draw there. Yep. One four high, nine. In the high two twenties for carry. That's yeah. probably how you know. What is that compared to the four iron you hit now? Two ten is my carry distance with four iron, going about two twenty two okay. ish total. So okay. it's obviously going a little further than how far I'd normally hit my four iron. Um, yeah. Which is expected given the design and yeah. you know it's like you've been talking about the feel. It feels like a player's iron. Uh, it's just you know built a little bit thicker. Uh, a little bit extra weight towards the bottom of the club as well to kind of a aid on that la that launch. I uh, just saw some, you know, terrific ball flight there. Even on the ones uh, where you maybe miss hit or left the face open, you're still getting really good distance out of it and gaining distance versus your your current four iron. Yep. Yeah, it definitely is gaining a little bit of distance on it for sure. Yeah. Yep. I really really like them. Um, I would love to go the route with doing combo kind of all three of the clubs that we have. All three. Today, so for sure. Yeah, MP. the MP20 line, it's kind of built that yep. way where there's, they kind of provide the option for golfers to get all three models in their set, and it depends just where you start. You know, there could be golfers that go 
you know, three iron through five iron in the HMB, and then they have a couple of MMCs, and then, you know, blade maybe in the nine pitching wedge. Uh, yeah. th that's kind of what I think Mizuno's goal was with each of these models, is to kind of give players that option to go get fit and bring in, you know, all three models to their set. All right, Thomas, you got to hit a few shots with pitching wedge, seven iron and four iron, uh, the MP20 HMB. I know you, A, you gained some distance, but also B, I know you're really impressed with the feel. Yes. Uh, love the fact that these are forged. They kind of look a little bit more kind of game improvement looking down compared to what I'm kind of used to playing. But they felt incredibly soft off the face. So it was really like a really surprising combination mm -hmm. between between the two, you know, feel and also forgiveness as well. So that was really, right. you know, it was pretty incredible actually. I was yeah. really impressed with that. Yeah, you don't see a club maybe this thick, for example, get the feel that you would out of a player's iron really. Um, and this is definitely kind of falling into that player's distance category, which is becoming more and more popular now among amateurs. What would you say is probably the sort of handicap range maybe, or um, sort of the type of player that you would fit into a full set of uh, you know, MP2, MP20 uh, HMBs? I don't usually like to try and you know, categorize it by handicap because certain players are strong with their short game or strong with mm -hmm. their long game or something like that. You know, but I would definitely recommend if someone's trying to pick up a little bit of distance, you know, definitely looking at the HMB you know, in those longer irons. You know, shorter irons, they could probably still get away with something a little bit, you know, less forgiving for those better better players. You know, but the other thing is, you, they, these feel incredibly good too. So for those players that, you know, are looking for a little bit more forgiveness, but like the feel of a forged club, these clubs, you know, yeah. excellent. And the other thing you always talked about was distance as well. You know, didn't really pick up much distance with the pitching wedge. I wasn't surprised by that. You know, it's more of a kind of like a pro progressive set. Yeah. But then seven iron, four iron, that's where you start to kind of see where I started to kind of pick up that dis distance what I'm used to. Right, and then obviously you mentioned too the, the combo set possibilities. Um, you really liked the possibility of having all three in a set where you'd start out with maybe an a, uh, HMB kind of in the two or three iron, has like a driving iron for example, and then kind of move down in the MP20 uh, with the blades and the MMCs kind of to mix out your set. Um, or you could do something like, you know, three iron through six iron with the HMB and then MMCs for your seven through pitching yeah, wedge. You could, you Something know, like you can get creative with this, and that's I think that's what Mizuno was going for here. Your opportunities are kind of endless. You could kind of mm -hmm. go any kind of route with any one of these three clubs. You know, whatever you want to do, whatever what club you want to start with, uh, with your maybe more kind of driving, more forgiving club, and then through to your blades, you can definitely do that. You know, right. And I think the best way to find out which combo works best for you would be to speak to a fitter at Second Swing or. Uh, contact one of our uh, online fitters at secondswing.com. Uh, we can get you fit into the combo set that's perfect for you between all the MP20 models from Mizuno, whether that's the HMBs here or the MP20 MMCs or the MP20 uh, Blades. I think Thomas Campbell would be obviously a great example of someone to uh, work with. So Thomas, thanks for joining us today. And uh, I hope you guys check out secondswing.com and contact Thomas. All right, thanks, Drew.